that's what we wanted. We wanted like, for it under its own power to roll out again. The history of this tank is not lost on me. Uh, this tank also symbolizes the soldiers and sacrifice. And I think as, as a nation, we should be fiercely proud of what this tank represents, not only to the First Azars, not only to Fanshawe College in London, Ontario, but to Canada. It's a symbol of, uh, of the freedom that as a nation we fought for in World War II. The hatch is open, we all sort of looked anyway. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a big project. So, yeah. But, you know, it's like eating a elephant, right? Just a little bit of time and a little of time. Quite a transformation from all the photographs that were taken of it being rusty, the way it is now. It's going to be last, last a lot longer. Hard to say. It's hard to say. We could probably see another 50 years easy. You know, that's Militex. You know, Militex did a super job with the priming and the painting of all this, so probably 50 years easy. Right from the, right from the beginning, we were doing things like, what do we need to make sure it's waterproof? You know, to try to reduce the amount of water. We actually have um, GD work with us on this. We have a, because the engine grills are open, so it can vent, so we have a water tray underneath there now that'll siphon that water off and it'll dump out the back. So we've tried to incorporate everything we can. It's like any project, you know, you get to that past that point and you're like, yeah, we should have done this. And it's like, yeah, but it's too late now, so. That's one of the reasons that I did volunteer for the job there, that uh, knowing that it's going to be down at Victoria Park. Um, my daughters, I mean, they can come down to the park and see this because it's not going to go anywhere for a very, very long time, generations even. So I think it's kind of nice that uh, I was a part of it and uh, it'll be here for a long time.